welcome to another Dolls in the Jar Bullets video. And today we, br we bring you me, Nellie Roxanne, the Cabbage Patch Kid, Soft Sculpture Kid Doll. <laughs> so today we bring you a Cabbage Patch. Nellie Roxanne Soft Sculpture. Like, so, <laughs> like we did at the beginning. <laughs> so she is, how old is she? She's 37, I think. What? 37? She still looks like she's a baby. <laughs> I know, because <laughs> she's a doll. <laughs> so can you tell us a little bit about her? So some people might know about Cabbage Patch loads, and some people might not. So let's tell them. Yes. So this is, like the Nelly Roxanne, she has popcorn hair. And she, they're quite tight, so they're like in her head. So they're not like most of them. Most of them hang quite, but hers are like really close to her head. And she has big brown eyes, a little small cabbage patch style nose, a little mouth, and her outfit's really lovely. So here it is. It's kind of like a dungaree, sort of. It looks like it. And she's got like lovely like blue belt on her main t-shirt. And she's got like little ballerina slippers. Oh, that's nice. Mm. Yes, and like little bow on top, like yeah. you can see there. And she has it not actual. The so you so you can note there's not an actual top under there. You can see a little belly. Sorry, Nelly. So it's like a little fabric. So it looks like it's. Oh, okay, so sewn in, so, so it looks like it. So it's not two layers, it's just one. Yes, and she has little shorts like oh, this. Oh, they're nice. Yeah, so they're the exact same colour, so blended, so it looks like a full outfit. Does she have a belly button? Yes, yeah, she has a teensy wincy little... Oh, you can't see it there. Oh. Little belly button. Oh, quick, don't show anyone. Quick, <laughs> put it away. <laughs> um, has she got booties and socks on? Yes, she has. Oh, no, um... Yes, she has. She's got little boots and everything. And then she has one that says exactly Xavier Roberts, who is the main creator of Care Chat Dolls. Not according to me, though. That's too long for the video. So. That's too long for the video because there's another whole other story about that. So, how big is she? How many uh, inches, inches yeah. is she? She's 22 inches. Wow, so that's so, quite large. Yes, and she's so big. Big and very huggable. Just need to be careful of her tag, which is the next thing we will go into. Her tag has a name, which is Nellie Roxanne. I didn't adopt her at Babyland. I found her on eBay, I think, and I got her for my birthday. <laughs> I found one that looks like her, so I'm a bit confused. And then this is her little cabbage patch sign, and it's got a little cabbage patch, and they obviously grow in the cabbage patch. Yeah, as all babies do. <laughs> yes. And then on the back it says bathing instructions. Oh, okay. So, it's, but this is very old stuff, so it's quite it's quite descriptive and things. But inside it says, I don't know if it's too long for the video to read, but it's got like a whole story of how Xavier, which is that Xavier Roberts who discovered them, um, found the Cabbage Patch Kids. Okay. And the price says, uh, the suggested adoption, so you adopt these kids, you don't buy them, you adopt them. And bring them up as your own child forever. <laughs> yes. And I also forgot to mention, she has little bows in her hair. Little bows. So how much was the adoption price? Her suggested adoption fee was $135. <laughs> okay. So she was, the baby land, they had two baby lands. One was in the same exact place, but they expanded. Now it's a whole entire like hospital, and it's massive. It's like some sort of mansion. So that's where they would have come from. But I believe she she would have come from the original Babyland, which was like a small hospital, uh, not a real one, a small hospital in Cleveland, Georgia. Oh, so she's come all the way from America, but she is beautiful. So we're going to... We're going to adopt her and bring her up as her own child forever and ever. <laughs> yeah. And take her on holiday. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Most likely with me, yes. And I just wanted to... Admit, so she's got little fingers, as many as a, a normal person would have. 
One, two, three, four, five fingers. I don't understand why I need to check. And she's got blushing. She's got blushing on her belly, her butt. I wouldn't want to show you guys her bottom. But she has it everywhere, basically. A little blushing. And on her knees. A little blushing on her knees. So, like and shading. Yeah, kind of. But I wouldn't want to take her. I was discussing this the other day. But she she does have toes. These have, I don't think these have ever been taken off, so I wouldn't want to show you guys her toes in case I get this wrong. Okay. But she definitely does have toes. <laughs> she might have, she might, she might have 37 year old cheesy feet. <laughs> Daddy. <laughs> That's so silly. And like, <laughs> like, this outfit is really cute. She's got little roughness, so it goes all the way down to here. So if someone was thinking about getting a cabbage patch, what would you say? <laughs> Well, if it was a normal cash patch kid, they normally have plastic heads. That's why I've been describing them as soft sculpture because they're not normally fully soft sculpture. They have a plastic head and like nylonish hair. And if you were buying on the normal ones, you would not normally find them. Probably on Amazon, Amazon UK or US or wherever you live. So you normally find it there. And they're really good quality, but these ones you have to buy specifically at Babyland. Okay, so you would say to someone, if you wanted to start collecting Cabbage Patch, maybe get yourself the small plastic head ones first, and then yeah, go like from there, see if you really like them. Yeah, and like the original ones, like these ones, um, she's like original, because she's from 1985, so yeah, um, they would, you would have to buy them from Babyland, which is in Cleveland, Georgia, you can actually find them on eBay, but sometimes people overcharge for them. Obviously not this one, because I have her right here. <laughs> and, yeah, so she's really nice. So they're very good quality. They're very huggable. But unless you have a spare, now they're around $200-ish. Um, around, around that, $200, $100, sort of. If you want a big size kit, they're around $200. Yeah, so if you want one of those, they're like $200-ish. So they're quite good quality for how much they are worth, but... Maybe try and start with the normal ones first, which are around 16 inches. Okay, so thank you very much for watching. And don't forget to like and subscribe. See you again soon. Bye. Bye.